Hello and welcome to a video from FilmsByChris.com. That's Chris the K. I'm Chris with a K. And this is a series. Be sure to check out the description of this video for a full playlist. Also links to things like my website and this GitLab page with all the examples. And today we're going to be creating a message that pops up when the game starts or when you load into a level. So let's go ahead and have a look at this. We're going to go to examples here. And the one we're going to be working with is going to be start message. Start message right there. So you can go into there. Uh, again, if you're not familiar with Git, you can use Git or you can just go to this project and download the zip file and unzip it. Move into that directory, which I am in right here. And we're gonna do GZ Doom and then dash file. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, you can give it a file, uh, a PK3 file or a WAD file, or in this case, I'm just saying dot, meaning look at the current directory we're in. You can also give it the full path to the directory. We're also saying that this is a Doom WAD, a Doom 2 WAD. Of course, you put in wherever you have your Doom 2 WAD saved, and we're going to warp, just go to the first map. And when we do, we will get a message on the screen. Right there, perfect, right in the center screen, welcome. That's it, that's what we're doing today. So again, let's look at our script here. Again, we always have our uh, Z script file, and here we're saying, again, the version, and then we're going to load up this script. Let's go ahead and look at that script. So we have our start message script. Now. For the clarification, as I was learning how to do all this stuff, I came up with a hacky way of doing it, right? This is the original message, uh, the way I did it. And originally I was trying to just wait for the world to load, and when the world loaded, display message. Now I would see it in my terminal, but I wouldn't see it on the screen. And the fact that it was showing the terminal, I came to the conclusion, okay, it's loading, but it's, it's displaying before I have a chance to see it. So what I ended up doing was coming up with this hacky way, but I left it in here as comments so you can see it in the future. I was like, okay, if it's displaying too soon, I'm going to figure out how to do world ticks, basically counting ticks like progress as time goes on. And it's it's basically looped through and added one to the tick, this, this T variable, and when it got to five, then it would display a message, okay? And it worked, it worked, but I knew it was a hacky way to do it. Luckily, I found the proper way to do it. Instead of doing it when the level loads, we're gonna do it once the player is spawned. So, again, all this right here is just comments in case someone's looking how to do that, and I'll just, just see my thought process on getting this done. What are we doing here? This is a function and it's an event handler. It's uh, looking for when the player is spawned. When the player is spawned, uh, well, we're going to create a variable called for an event, right? And then here we're going to say, okay, we're going to look at our player pond and we're going to get the player number. Basically, there could be more than one player. And we're saying that's MPO. So once that player has loaded, then we're going to print a message. We can print to the console, print F, and give a message. But you also have this option that I haven't shown yet called print uh, a console, print a uh, mid print, which will actually print the message to the center of the screen instead of the top left of the screen. Okay, so we're doing that. And you can see here that I also am giving it a, there's different ways to do this. I'm just saying, you know, backslash color and the color inside brackets here is green. And it's gonna say welcome. Now, of course, we know that uh, if uh, uh, object or uh, our function isn't attached to an object and actor in the game we need to call it some other way so we also have our map info here again this is just when the game loads it's saying okay we're going to add the event handler and we're adding what are we adding start message so again if we go back into our start message script here that is not what that's called oh yes it is okay <laughs> uh, our class right here is start message so this has to be matched in here. So whatever you call it in there, you call it here. This is when the game loads, it's going to add that handler, uh, that function, basically that class and call that function. And that is how you get something to happen when the player spawns. In this particular case, we are going to load up our start message. So again, GZ Doom, we're going to run it. And we will get our welcome message again in green. And of course, you can divide that up just to add a little bit more to our tutorial here. Again, I can make that a different color. I can say blue. And there's a whole list of colors you can use, but standard colors like that, you will see. I can do backslash C here, and I'll say uh, red, and I'll say welcome home. How about that? And now when we run the game, it should say welcome home, uh, and the welcome will be in blue, and the uh, home should be in red. There we go. I am now noticing that the uh, top left corner message is not displaying. Uh, it is displaying in the terminal here. So uh, that may need to be going back to my old method here. So again, if I was to want to do this, 
I can uncomment all of this. I don't need this message anymore. Oops. And again, that's a hacky way of doing it, but now we should get our message up in the top left corner there. So there's probably a better way to do that as well. <laughs> but to show you work, it says hello world up in the corner there. Hello world. And again, uh, what this is doing is we're creating a variable called t, which by default will be set to zero because it's an integer. And then world tick, this is just running uh, constantly. It's counting every time there's a tick. And every time there is, it's going to add one to that zero. And when it equals five, then it will print the message. So for some reason, this is not being displayed down here, right? So we can change this and we can say, hello, Bob. And we sh doesn't seem like we're gonna see that message. It will show up in the terminal here, but it's not showing up in the screen. So again, that's still a hack way. There's probably a better way to have a message display up in the corner there, but the hello world shows up in our welcome home and you can see colors. So hopefully today you learned how to make something happen when the player spawns. Uh, and we also learned how, a little bit about colors, right? And also we didn't undo the colors so like the next line here is still red, but then once there's another print message, it goes back to the default. So I do thank you for watching. As always, I hope you visit my website, filmsbychris.com. There you can click on the support section Plenty of ways to support me financially. If you can support me financially, again, I feel like there aren't very many video tutorials out there on Zscript, uh, and I'm hoping that mine are useful. If you do find them useful, share them. I would love for this to be like something everybody looks at and finds useful. I thank you for watching. Again, links in the description to everything. You can download the examples and try them out without having to modify anything. I thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.